everybody, it's Dr. Friels here. We have a gentleman that has not been able to trim his nails for quite some time that we're going to take care of for him. Um, a lot of people have at home just the traditional nail clippers and it's nearly impossible to trim, you know, thicker nails. Oh, yeah, Even really. like my big toenail, it's kind of hard to oh, use that and it's kind of awkward. Yeah. You know, so we use um, these type of nippers. So if you have at home these nails and you're, you don't know what to do, we'll do a little video on how to get these trimmed yourself. So. First thing I like to do is start in the, the front here, in the middle, and just clip. Make sure you keep that finger over your um, clipping because you don't want it, that to end up in your mouth. Yeah, right. And that has happened to me oh, is that right? once before. Once it happens the first time, you never do it again. So these nails are a little more challenging because you can see it uh, going all the way into the skin here. Let me flip that horizontally. Okay, here we go. So what I do is try to get a little piece to make sure that you don't feel anything and you can see it just crumbles. Oh yeah. 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 What I'd like for you to do next time yeah. is actually just soak your feet before you come in. Okay. With some warm water and Epsom salts. Okay. And that's gonna make them a little more, you know, pliable and easier to trim. So if you're at home and you need your nails trimmed, then I would definitely soak them first. Well, I'm gonna let you do that. <laughs> Sounds good. Also, Vic Sav, yeah. putting um, that uh, on the nails every day will help oh, really? soften them. Mm -hmm. You like, are gonna write this down for me. I surely can. Okay, Absolutely. I wish you would. That's an old home remedy. My grandfather used to recommend that to his patients. Oh, really? All the time. So this, the key is here: slow and steady, because we don't want to take too much of a big hunk off. Wow. Because it. Uh, it can get into the skin. We really don't know where the nail starts and the skin begins. Oh, yeah, so and you can see it just kind of starts delayering on its own. So far, so good. Three down. Well, look at this one here. Come around this way. You can kind of see. So this one is at risk, the second toe here, yeah. for this nail to penetrate the skin on the first toe. So oh, when you're wearing your okay. shoes, yeah, you can yeah. see how it fits right up in there. Right. Were you having any discomfort with that? No, uh -uh. I'm retired and I don't go out that much, so I don't wear. I, I wear tennis shoes most of the time when I'm okay. shoes on, and they're big enough. If I can't get it on one side, what I'll do is go in from the other side. Yeah. See if I can't get a bite, just to get a starting point. See, when you do that, it kind of just starts breaking in its own. Uh, wow. Yeah. There's no way I could do that. <laughs> well, I got a bird's eye view. It makes it a little easier. Yeah. Well, you also got clippers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, these make a big difference. Nice. You're going to be about five pounds lighter after yeah, you really? dancing out of here. And that's the truth. <laughs> so next time when you come back, it'll be a little easier to trim and we can actually get a little more. Do the levels? We can get a little more of the nail. Oh, okay. The fungus just makes them so thick and they just build layer upon layer. So I've got a fungus on there? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what's caused them to be so thick. And it's really common the more birthdays you celebrate. Yeah, I celebrate <laughs> a bunch. Okay, so let's see how we're gonna get a hold of this guy here. So he's headed the opposite direction. Let me see if I can get a hold. You almost have to look for a way to get in there. So let's try the tip here. That's not going anywhere. Does this one hurt at all? Uh-uh. Okay. I had an artery wrapping itself around my spinal column. Mm-hmm. Do you remember Dr. Cassidy? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. He's from my hometown. I'm sorry? No, no, no. Not the neurologist. Was he a spine surgeon? No, a heart doctor. Okay, no. Different Dr. Cassidy. Oh, okay. Um... Uh, Anyway, uh, this artery was wrapping itself around my spinal column, and my from my buttocks down the back of my legs and my feet are numb. Oh. Thank goodness we got he he shot uh, as he said super glue in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got the tip off. I'd like to get more. It's almost like paring a rock. You can see I really can't grip anything. Yeah. What we might do 
I'm going to have the girl soak this toenail for me just to get some saline to soften it up for me. Okay. So we'll come back to him. Let's go over here. I'm going to turn you this way a little bit. Okay. See, the smaller ones are a lot easier than those bigger ones. Yeah, really. One of the risks of having nails this long yeah. is that they can catch on your socks, especially with, you know, having neuropathy. I mean, because this guy, he could easily catch on something. Yeah. There you go. Just one little clip. I don't know why I waited so long. <laughs> I, like I said, I just, my sister said something and she saw me, I was barefoot over at the house. And she said something about it. So then I called uh, Dr. Reese's office. Uh-huh. And, uh. He recommended you all. Good. And as you can see, it's not too bad. And the more that, you know, often that you come in, the more that we can manage it yeah. for you. Um, so kind of maintenance and a tune-up. Are you strong enough? To I don't know. I'm going to have to start <laughs> lifting some more weights here. Yeah, really. You know, the funny thing is, is my forearms, this one yeah. is an inch bigger than this one. Oh, really? From trimming toenails. I'll be fine. To do both hands on this one. Oh, here we go. Sorry, Brianna. Well, I'll definitely see you in that week. So. <laughs> and they're not going to grow like they have been, so. No, it's been. I, I don't remember the last time I played. Yeah, so for. If we have patients at home watching this or caregivers you know, daughters, sons, and they don't know what to do. Yeah. That is a podiatrist's job. We are professional toenail trimmers. <laughs> <laughs> so we do this all day long. Do not be hesitant to call us for something like this. We're happy to do it. As you can see, it doesn't take too long and much safer, especially he's a diabetic as well. I yeah. forgot to mention that. Oh, that makes a difference. Oh, absolutely. Really? So I would be really concerned if you're a diabetic going to get pedicures and things like that because if they cut you you know you're at risk for of course getting an infection oh. and people with poor circulation and they can't heal that mm -hmm. that little nip and okay so far so good see it's crumbly crumbles are kind of going everywhere aren't they <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So, once we get the length trimmed down, yeah. uh, then we're going to take a Dremel and smooth. Say again. Well, once we get yeah. the length uh, here trimmed yeah. down, we're going to take a Dremel to smooth out those rough edges. A Dremel? What's a Dremel? It's the power tool. Like oh, a Dremel you think okay. for woodworking. <laughs> okay. go back to that one in a second. Try to get the other one. And work on the more dystrophic one at the end.
I have this one soaking with some just normal saline chloride, saline, and a gauze to help loosen up some of that thickness on the left big toe before we continue trimming on it. Out there, is that bad? Yeah, this is nothing. I'm gonna go back over this one. up the skin around the toenails so thanks for watching stay tuned <laughs> bye hey everybody we are back let's see that if we've gotten this nail a little softer so i can get in there the rest of the nails have been dremeled they look great okay. so i can get a little more of a bite soften it up a bit but really soak in those at home for a good 30 to 45 minutes right before your appointment and we have called this gentleman in a foot soak. So he's going to soak his feet and that'll help with the athlete's foot he has on the bottom. Huh, right in know, here. Yeah. 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 And then the what cream. What you call it? The compound pharmacy? Yeah. It's in Somerset. It's a... Oh, they mail it to you. Yes, they oh, mail right. it to you. Right. But there's, But I'm going to soak it in something? Correct. Or that's is, what they mail to you? That's and, what they mail to you. Oh, they okay, mail all right. the ingredients. Okay. It's got a, um, like an antifungal, an antibiotic huh. in there to help. Uh, I think it even comes with an agitator to help get in between the toes because I know it gets more difficult. No kidding. Yeah. And all the instructions will be in there. Okay. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Just trying to find any way to get a hold of it. Since I grabbed just the tips. It won't be as bad next time, right? Oh no, not at all. Okay. Not at all. Are you having any pain? No. Okay. okay. Like I said, next time we'll be able to get more. Okay. Today, just the starter. Where did I get one of your cards? I'm sure up front. Oh, at the desk. Okay. At the desk, okay. you got it. Then I'll put it on my calendar so get home. Sounds good. Okay. And I will send Dr. Arisa a, a note, let him know everything I found, okay. what we're doing, what our plan is, and. You know, as a diabetic, of course, you have first priority coming in for any type of emergency. Room? Really? Yep, okay. and I'll give you, we have a private text line uh -huh. that you can shoot us a text with any questions or emergencies you might have. Okay. Also, there's, um, if it's after hours, you can call and hit um, the button to be connected to the doctor on call. No kidding. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, I can't imagine I'll have any problems with my feet. Yeah. That. Yeah. Are your toes feeling better? I don't know. <laughs> That's right. You don't feel them. <laughs> They're looking better. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like I said, that artery that. that was wrapping itself around the spinal column, the numbness is... So my, my, my feet are both now. Yes. I have to be careful walking on rocks. Well, you shouldn't be walking on rocks. <laughs> well, I don't. <laughs> This big toenail's almost gone. Gotten quite a bit of it off. Yeah, I noticed that. Was it supposed to be like that? Yeah, it was, it's basically a dead toenail. It's just fungus layered on top of itself. Yeah. So whatever fungus wants to de-layer, I'm grabbing a hold of. Huh. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. There we go. Good piece underneath the cuticle there. Gee, Just another. I wonder why that one's not a, is so much worse than the one on the right foot. You know, it's a good question. Could have been from trauma. Have you ever dropped anything on this? No. no. Okay, well, that's as much as I can get with the uh, the nippers. Now we'll get the Dremel. And then get you cleaned up. Okay. Try to thin it out. Get those rough edges so they don't catch on your socks. You know. So on the top of your toenail, there's a little spot of um, blood. What I want you to do is, um, and I'm going to clean it up for you, is put some betadine. Betadine is a one, or iodine, yeah. covidine. It's a wonderful antibacterial and then also drying agent. All right, well, I'm going to the drugstore right after leaving. Wonderful. So if you wouldn't mind writing that down. Sure. I appreciate it. So we'll put a little betadine on there and then I'm going to cover with a band aid. And I want you to keep a close eye on this and give me a call with any concerns. But as you can see, the toenail is completely gone. Huh. Do the side view, you can see really how much better. Yeah. And just to think how big it was before. Right. Well, that's as much as I can get for today. Okay. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you got some good tips today. If you have any questions, don't forget, drop a comment below, subscribe to our channel. And give us a call if you have any concerns um, and we can help you out. All right, I'll see you next time.